Hello and welcome to Doom Pigeon Gaming. I'm Sarah Nightmare and this is episode 5, the final episode of The Wolf Among Us. You may notice today I don't have my camera. Uh, that's because I can't find the charger and I'm a derp. So until I find my charger, I can't upload any videos with me being recorded. So, really excited for this. So last time we saw that the uh, crooked man, uh, we met the crooked man and we sat down in his like big sort of base thing, met Tiny Tim, uh, replaced the shards in the mirror, I think, I think Bloody Mary nearly got into the mirror again. Um, other than that, I can't really remember what happened, but I'm still really excited for this. It's quite a menacing picture of uh, Bigby right here. So, episode 5, Crywolf. Let's uh, jump right into it. God, I'm nervous about this. <laughs> I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? That's a bit of luck. Not if I can avoid it. No. Holly's sister, Lily. I just don't know what Bigby's doing if he... If he cares about it, if he even gives a shit. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I don't know. Snow will come around, she's just... Well, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh God, Bigby! This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Bigby, wait! When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. You will get to see my amazing dancing for this part, but you can just imagine it. I'm not entirely sure why my laptop's been a bit laggy today, but should be fine for the most part. I'll plus I have a new computer soon, this weekend in fact, but by the time this video where it goes out, I would have already had my new computer. So it'll be a beast of a machine. Episode 5, Cry Wolf. You've come a long way. You must be tired. And if my envoys are correct, you haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff. Relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. Got a scotch? Only Tennessee whiskey, unfortunately. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. 
Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You're destroying this you're town. You're destroying this town. You've been doing it for ages. Destroying this town? What on earth do you mean? What the hell do you think I mean? Slavery? Kidnapping? Extortion? Murder? What would you call the wholesale corruption of Fabled Town? I would call it the baseless accusation of a desperate sheriff. How are you certain this isn't some conspiracy against me? I'm a well-connected man. Well-moneyed. People do like to take their shots at me. Who would try to pull that on you? Oh, I don't know. Fables with a grudge. People who want a stake in my shops and services. But I can understand the confusion. And I'm truly sorry about the trouble all this has caused you. And I hope you believe me when I say, Sheriff, that I sincerely mean to make it up to you. The recent murders that have gotten such attention as of late. I don't relish telling you that they were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very Bloody unfortunate Mary. bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you and to assure you that it's over with. I already know who did it. Forgive me, Sheriff, for doubting your acumen, but... Who do you think committed these crimes? It's uh, been a long couple of days for you. Bloody Mary. It was Mary. <laughs> no, Sheriff. I'm afraid you're mistaken. Oh? And I have complete respect for you and your job. I really do. But I'm sorry. I simply can't divulge the transgressor. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No. I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. So why don't you take the hint and get out? I'm already pissed off. You don't want to make it worse. Oh, I think I do. I'd love a good reason to put a bullet between your eyes after what you did! That's enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. But, in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. <gasps> the bastard. However, like I said, I'll be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie. You got what you wanted, so just... Sit. Down. Now. Yeah, I killed him, so what? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, the fact is, George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits. And I think you've far exceeded yours. Oh, but But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt me to, to kill blame me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis. You're just gonna let him do this? So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. What the hell? Take this fucker. Take all of them. I didn't fucking Don't start make this. Any uh... trouble, Georgie? Are you seriously throwing me under the fucking carriage after everything I've done for you? All right. right. Let's talk. You can't just hand me over. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with them, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I'd give a fuck if I'm the one who- Who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of here! I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll uh... over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. What are you saying? Get the fuck away from me! He's the one you fucking want! This could have gone so well. But you just had to complicate things. Oh God, I don't know what to, to think anymore. To the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. 
Why negotiate when you can just decide? Oh, fuck Mary. <laughs> Did I miss anything good? Well, look at you all fixed up. Um. Oh god. Uh. Oh crap. Oh crap. I'll go for him. Shit! Over here. Oh no. Shit. My god. You're done, Wolf. Come on. We're pretty much done here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, why, why? You, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. Oh shit. Come on! Ah oh, yes. Oh god. This way. That was interesting.